With the eyes of the world fixed firmly on the Middle East, it's easy to forget the troubles that are still taking place inside of Africa. Now, for many years, Somalia has had its problems, but it looks like those problems could begin to spill across the border. So we decided to take a look. This video was shot in Eastleigh in Nairobi, an area with a large Somali community, uh, so much so that Kenyans know it as Little Mogadishu. On the face of it, the video shows people chucking stones and looting. Uh, it could be a riot anywhere in the world, and there's even the standard police response of firing tear gas. <laughs> But if you look behind the pictures, there's been a rise in ethnic tension, especially in the last few days, but it's been boiling underneath for a long time now. And Eastleigh's almost become a no-go zone for some people. On Sunday, which was the 18th of November, nine people were killed um, when a grenade attack tore through a minibus. Um, it's one of the series of attacks of a similar nature that have sparked off this violence in Nairobi. Um, Kenyans have been blaming Somalis for the attacks, particularly Al-Shabaab sympathizers. Now, Kenyan troops are in Somalia fighting Al-Shabaab, who are a uh, Islamic fundamentalist group. Um, and the grenades are seen as revenge attacks for Kenya's presence in Somalia. In the last few days, Somalis in Nairobi have been attacked and stones have been thrown at their buildings, windows have been smashed and people have been beaten up. But it's not just in Nairobi that this violence has been escalating. This video was shot in Garissa, which is a border town on the Kenyan side of the border with Somalia. Um, on Monday the 19th of November, the market here was burnt down and three members of the Kenyan security forces were killed by unknown gunmen, but they're thought to be Somali al-Shabaab sympathisers. Um, that sparked um, inevitable violence in the streets and, and the subsequent crackdown from Kenyan security forces. <laughs> After two days of violence, eight people have been shot and 50 people have been wounded and hospital staff say that most of the injuries that they've seen are the result of beatings with clubs, probably from the Kenyan security forces, but there's no information on who shot the eight people. In fact, the citizen journalist who shot this video suggests that there might be as many as 13 people that have actually been shot. But regardless of who's responsible for the injuries, the Kenyan military's deployments in Somalia and the revenge attacks from al-Shabaab seem to be filtering down to street level and fueling ethnic violence in Kenya. If you've got anything to say about this story, you know where that comment box is. And if this is the first time you've seen Truth Loader, do check out our mission statement. It's annotated on the screen right now.